have more than 60 million people who are either displaced or refugees. This is the largest number of people uh, since the end of Second World War. It's a heartbreaking experience always uh, meeting uh, refugees who had to flee at their homes. Like most of you, I had to flee my hometown. When I was a young boy at that time, there were no classrooms. All the schools were destroyed by bombing. Shule zote zilikuwa zimearibiwa juu ya vita. I had to study on the ground. Nilikuwa nakaa chini ya ulongo. Under the shadow of trees. Ama kwa chini ya muti. But I have become now Secretary General of the United Nations. Can you believe it? Lakini sasa munaniona mimi ndiyo Secretary General wa umoja wa mataifa. Munaniona. One day, one day, one of you may become Secretary General. When I was just a six-year-old boy in 1950, the Korean War broke out. I could see my village burning. My parents had to flee to a surrounding mountainside. They were running here and there to find something to feed their own children. United Nations, not only they sent the troops to rescue us from aggression, UNICEF and UNESCO, they sent food, clothes, textbooks, and even toys. When I was in a difficult situation, United Nations was with me. Now, I'll make sure that the United Nations will be there. Every day, millions of people around the world go through the same situations or worse. My name is Rebecca. We fled our home with our three children because of war and fighting. We've been in this camp for six years already. I am afraid for my future and my children's future. I cannot afford to send the children to school. Everything has been difficult. I am praying for security to return to my country so that we can go back home. There are times I go to bed and cry the whole night when I don't have enough food to give my children. We must show those people left behind in conflict, in chronic needs, and in constant fear the solidarity they deserve.
Syrian crisis has been continuing six years. At least 4.8 million people fled Syria. When I visited the Jatari camp in Jordan, I met a young the ninth grade girl named Zad. I was very much touched by her the strong the hope as well as the courage and resilience. Hello everybody. My name is Zad. I'm 16 years old from Tafas City from Dara. Uh, when the war started, I was studying at school. The day we left Syria was really scary. We ran away under heavy shooting and shelling, leaving behind part of our family. After that, we heard one of my brothers was killed. And it's something was very, very hard. But my brother, he didn't kill alone. He was killed with so many people, children and women. to have many friends. My life was full of love and joy. I study English to be a translator. Actually, it's my dream. I will be translator, and after that, I will travel to see all the world and tell the world what happened in Syria. It's my story. Thank you for At least 125 million people need our assistance. Many of those people, they need life-saving support. We have to show our global solidarity so that nobody will be left behind. Children hurting, I hear them crying. Can you practice what you preaching? Would you turn the other cheek again? What happened to the love and the values of humanity? What happened to the love and the fairness and the quality? Where's the love? Instead of spreading love, we're spreading animosity. Where's the love? Lack of understanding, leading us away from unity. Where's the love? Oh.